hours. You got the rat group, Killer Kane, on the sixth floor already causing trouble. One guest VIP, Amber Strong, adult film star. She's VIP? Armani says she is. What's the count? Negative 16. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, put your food order in. What's the average no-shows lately? Holding around 5%. So you got 600 rooms, 30 guests, you should be fine. Fucking reservations, assholes. They sell 616 rooms because they're not here when the hotel is filled up and you gotta walk a guest. Preaching to the choir, brother. I worked night shift for five years. Got it. Put your food I order. will in a bit. Who's the belt? Rico.
wonder if that was Linda's first time tonight. Rico! Yeah. How you feeling, sir? Pumped. How about you, Dale? Uh, I feel like I still can't get used to these hours. You try what I said? Yeah, yeah, I got home at 7 and I, uh, I didn't go to sleep till 1 p.m. How long did you sleep? I slept till 9. Well, you should be well rested then. Yeah, I don't think it works for me, man. Tonight, as soon as I get home, I'm going to sleep. It's your call, but you've been on nights what? Three months? I've been on it seven years. Come on, Jared caught in. Why is your deal with the food order? The kitchen's been giving me shit because we're making them stay late. Tell them to go fuck themselves. Yeah, then they would go home and we'd have nothing to eat. Come on, go. Where's Marco? I think a guest called him up to his room. So he's gonna leave the front desk? It's Marco. Lisa, can I get a burger medium? Thank you. Ah, uh, let me guess. That's all starting early tonight? Mr. Campson on 305 says his air conditioning is too loud. So let's transfer him. He's, he's, he's in a one better suite. All of them are booked. <sighs> Alright, I'll call Dolan. Hey, Dale, we need you back. Thank you. Can I help you? Are you the manager? Yes, I am. I, I need a new friggin' room. And why is that? The air conditioning's too friggin' loud. I'll send Pablo up to take a look at it. Your boy Marco was already up. Marco's not the repairman. Just give me a new friggin' room. Sir, there are no other one-bedroom suites available. Uh, I could give you a room with a king-size bed. I I'll take a two-bedroom suite. None available. You know what? Fine. I want a refund. I'm going to another hotel. Okay, you can speak to Brad. He's the reservations manager. He's on Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Fuck you. I'll send a bellman up to help you with your bags. Fuck all you. I don't need help. Bring up his account. I'm praying. Truly. A score. He rented one last night. What's it called? Balls in Play. Sir, uh, remember to bring down the adult DVD you rented? I think it was called Balls in Play. You gotta bring that down, sir. Love the fact that we uh, hand deliver all of our DVDs. It's a little outdated, but it's a touch of class from the Century Grand. <laughs> Check this guy out. Sir, can I help you? Yeah, <clears throat> lost something. What'd you lose? <laughs> lost my dick. <laughs> wait, wait, how do you get to find it? Find up my girlfriend's ass. <laughs> okay, sir, thank you for letting us know. Yeah, sure. Yep. Oh. Seem like a nice guy. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Linda, how are things? Eh, no, they're slow. What you got? Euro. Swedish dude. <laughs> Two. Let me guess. Yen. No, Euros. Why? It's usually Yen, right? Those Japanese businessmen love their hookers. Hey, hey. Linda's a high priced call girl. I forgot. That's how hotel management wants us to refer to her as we turn the other cheek. I always ask her how her night's going. She always says the same thing. Slow. No matter how many times she goes up and down that elevator to service some guy, she says it's slow. I'm dying to find out what a busy night is for her. Dylan, you didn't say hi to me. I saw you banging the phones. They call all at the same time. Hey, Jared. You sure you don't want to date her? Positive. I love how you get all serious. You should give her a shot. She has crazy eyes. She has pretty eyes. Crazy eyes. Trust me.
You tired? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know once to exchange more money. I'm kidding. I'm fucking with you, bro. Go back to sleep. I don't know. I just feel better. You know? Maybe not on the inside, but just knowing that I made a choice. You know, the, knowing that you're not a victim. You're not weak. You know, something like that. Hola, senorita. How are you tonight? Mr. Dillon. So good to see you again. Hi, Enrique. Enjoy it. You, sh you shot up again, didn't you? Damn it, Rachel. We're supposed to be in this together. I just... We can do this. Believe it. Together, please. Damn it, why won't you believe it? Damn it, why? Dylan! Dylan, we got a problem. What is it? Holy shit. Ma'am. 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 What happened? Call 911. Now! Jared! No, 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 touch her. Don't touch her. Ma'am? Did someone do this to you? My... My name is Holly. My boyfriend beat me up. Uh, where is he now? Okay, call Jeff, security, go. Holly, is there, uh, is there anything we should, uh... No, no, wait, call Pablo, okay? No, just do it, do it, do it! He just walked up. Pablo, you have the gloves? The, uh, the, the plastic gloves, yeah, 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 give me them. Come on, now! Holly, everything's gonna be okay, all right? Oh, fuck! Get that guy out of the lobby. Shit's about to go down, all right? Holly, okay? I'm here. It's okay? I called him twice, no answer. Candace, come here. Pablo, give a pair of gloves to Candace. Please, Candace. I'm gonna let Candace take you to the bathroom and get you cleaned up. Okay? Call him again. Come on, bro. Get up. Hey, you're cute. Get up. Go to your room. You can't sleep in the lobby. Hey, Rico, chill. I'm sorry, Security's still not here. All right. Okay, 618, bring him down. No violence, do not touch him. I mean it, go. You know, you get to the China Club. 
You're a guest here? Yeah. What room? 642. You go to 46th Street, make a right. It's a half a block. Alright, thanks, buddy. Hey, you in charge here? Yes, I'm Dylan Barrick. I'm the overnight manager. Did you call him in? No, my operator Candace did. Where's the girl? She's in the bathroom with Candace. This girl walks in the lobby and uh, her face is a mask of blood. Turns out her boyfriend beat her up. Where's he? Room 618. I got two of my staff escorting her down. How bad? No, it's bad. Oh, hey, Jeff. Nice of you to show up. Oh, man. We, we had some shit going on. Who's this? This is our security guard, Jeff. Uh, he wasn't here. He had some shit going on. This girl. Uh, Did you get a name? Holly. What is it? Let's just say I'm not 100% sure she's his girlfriend. What do you think? Call girl? Well, I was wearing gloves and I got my operator Candace doing the same thing. Where the fuck do you think you're going, bro? Hey, Jared, ease up. Now, this is Jared Percy. He's our front desk agent. And this is Rico Taylor. He's one of our bellmen. Oh, it's good to see you, Jeff. Glad you took your fucking time. When we got up there, he was packed and headed for the stairs. Well, fuck you, man. That's shit to do. Enough! What's your name? Davis Riley. What happened? <laughs> we got in a fight. Dylan! Cuff him. Let's go. Mr. Bear? Mr. Bear? Yeah, yeah. We need to get a statement from you. All right? Okay. Yeah, whatever it takes. I gotta go check that room. Hello? Okay. Yeah. She says he took her money. Shit. 
What is wrong with you? I was up all night. Yeah, you're the night shift manager. It was a tough night, asshole. Hey, don't you talk that way to me. Back the fuck off, Henry. Guys, come on. I don't know what to tell you, Chris. Yeah, he might have come to the desk to ask for the safety deposit box, but he had a key. I mean, how do I know whose money it is? I'll tell her to file a police report. How much money did she say he took? Try four grand. He had a key. I can't believe I'm here on my day off. I can't get away from this place. When did all this happen? 30 minutes ago, right when I came in to relieve Henry. The girl from last night. Wait, Holly, is she here? She said she checked in and deposited the money before she went upstairs. Uh, did the police find out if she's a working girl? Turns out she really is his girlfriend. Let's go talk to her. Uh. Ma'am, we believe you're going to have to file a police report. I can't do that. Your boyfriend had a key. You both checked in. He was able to retrieve the money. I just want my money back. I'm sorry, but we don't have it. Please give it to me! Sister, you need to lower your voice. Hey, back the fuck off, Henry. Don't you yell at me. I'm sorry, you give us a moment, please? Guys, come on. Don't ever pull that shit from a customer. I don't care what you two have between. I'm sorry, Chris. Help me. You lost, bro? What's that? Yo, give me your motherfucking money, motherfucker. What? What? Yo, fuck you, man. Uh, fuck you! Mr. Dillon, I have not seen you around here for so long. How have you been? Good, very good, good. And uh, how is your girl, eh? Uh, we're not together anymore. Oh. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. But good to see you, senor.
So you were saying he took her money? She's saying he gave her the money. And what do you think about it all? Well, what happened? You know, the guy's a piece of shit. He got drunk and he beat up his girl. So what are you doing here? That is girl Holly. You know, I just I feel bad for her. I want to see if there's maybe a way I could help her out. What happened to your hand? Uh, some guy tried to mug me. How'd you do? <laughs> I kicked his ass. So this girl, Holly, she'd have to come down to fill out a report. I figured as much, but I'm thinking maybe I can get her full name and her address. For what reason? You know, man, I just want to check up on her, make sure she's okay. <clears throat> well, we wouldn't have her address, just his. And wouldn't you have the same information from when he checked into your hotel? Yeah, we might. So just get it there. Yeah, I'm here now. Um, you know, I'm thinking I might want to stay away from that place for a day or two. What are you going to do with his address? Look, man, I'm just going to check up on her. You know, I feel a little responsible. I just want to make sure she's okay. I have to go talk to somebody down the hall. You know your way out? Yeah? Who are you? You were at the Century Grand the other night? Yeah, so? I'm looking for Holly. Why is that? I have something that belongs to her. Holly's gone. So, uh, what do you got for her? Where'd she go? She has some apartment up on 34th Street. I, I don't know the address. You know, my guess is she's back out on the street, but, you know, I never know with her. You know, what can I tell you? She's uh, on horse. She's a heroin addict. Why'd you hit her? Because she wouldn't listen to me. I told her to stop injecting that shit into her veins. So, you know, so I come in the other night. Drunk off your ass. Yeah, and, but she was about to do it, so I stopped her. By punching her in the face. Yeah. I mean, what do you want me to say? I'm a total dick. There's nothing you're going to say to me that's going to make me feel any worse than I already do. I got huge problems. And I really have trouble controlling myself, especially when I get drunk. Understand? No. No, man, I don't understand how a guy can beat the shit out of a woman like that. Well, that's because you're not me. And you don't fucking know me, so don't fucking judge me. So, uh, what are you, uh, what are you, hot for Holly or something? No. Look, I took her off the street. If she, uh, wants to go back on the needle, fine, fuck her. You know, if she wants to hit rock bottom again, that's her business. But if she comes back here and she starts fucking lying to me again, I'm gonna fucking kill her just to put her out of her own misery. You took her money. Fuck you, that was my money, bro. I ain't your bro. Look, I gave her money and I said she could keep it if she stayed straight. Well, I wanna give it back to her. What, so she just go buy drugs again? Give me the money. Fuck you. I ain't playing, bub. Would you come up here to shake me down or something? I'll put you in jail, you fuck. Tall girl. 
redhead name's Holly. You a cop? No. What are you there? A boyfriend? No, man. I get it. You're trying to be a hero. You got a picture of Miss Holly? I don't. How's I supposed to help you find her? I was hoping you know her by her name description. I don't. Anywhere else you could buy around here? Where does she live? I'm not sure exactly. Maybe maybe 34th Street. Shit, you on 34th Street now. Unless you're talking about by the river. I might be. It's Tino Noyes area, bro. I'll look him up. We done? What else you need, bro? All right, give me two bags. This tall redhead, her name's Holly. You know the girl I'm talking about? You a cop? <laughs> oh shit, long time, B. Yeah. She left something at the hotel I work at. Are you tracking her down? It's important that I find her. You don't want to beat her up? No way, man. Some shitbag boyfriend did that to her. He also stole her money and I got it back. You wanna just give it to me and I'll pass it on? Tino, I gotta find it. Uh, you still work at the same place? Yeah, Century Grand. It's uh, 46th Street. Yeah, I don't know where it's at. Look, I'll tell Holly you got her money, all right? I don't know. Just tell her uh, I got something I wanna give her, all right? You want her to come to the hotel to get it? I doubt she's gonna wanna go back there. Look, how about this? Let me give you my home address. Just tell her to come here, all right? Okay, so you're at the same spot. Yeah. Yo, that shit, Holly. You change her hair, her face, she looks just like... Yeah. Look, all I do is sell, man. People don't want to buy. I don't force shit. I promise you, I had nothing to do with what happened to Rachel. Yeah, I know. You still on that heavy stuff? Off and on, you know, I don't have to shoot up anymore. Where you buying from? Here and there, man. Don't worry about it. I do worry about it. Some of that street shit is crazy, you heard? Look, man, could you just pass this on to her, right? Yeah, I got you. Fuck, let's drive around the block or something, man.
What you need? Give me one bad. Hey, baby girl, how you doing? I'm okay. Some guy came around here looking for you today. Tell him to fuck off and die. Tell him to give me my money. He did say he had something for you. Who? Davis? Not a chance. No, nah, this cast name was Dylan. He's the hotel manager at the Central Brand. Did you fall asleep again? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I'm the boss. I get to do what I want. I know. I'm just wondering. Night manager gets to make the rules, okay? As long as we get through the night and the hotel's here in the morning, I've done my job. I heard that when Elon was the night shift manager, he spent half his time at the Kevin St. James bar. Patrick used to talk to his girl all night. Okay, what's up? We're all out of rooms and this guy wants to check in. Shit, we're at full capacity? I told you that 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I, I know, I mean, yeah, I remember that. I, you caught me in the middle of a sleep cycle or something. Uh, uh, all right, who's got, who's got rooms? The Marriott Marquis. It's just a matter of convincing them on the upgrades. <clears throat> Hold on a minute, Jim. What the hell is taking so long? Sir, unfortunately, we don't have any rooms left. What? <laughs> Jim, did you hear that? Yeah, are you serious? Yes. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? We have to walk you to another hotel? Well, this is fucking bullshit. This is... What the fuck does... What does that even mean? We've arranged a room for you at the Marriott Marquis. We'll pay for your cab fare there. You get the same room rate as you would here. And tomorrow night, you're guaranteed a room here and it's free. It's actually a really good deal. Really? Uh, see, I, I don't see it that way. Uh, I'm here now, and my bags are here, and the company's paying for the fucking room, so what do I care? Checking in after 5 a.m., jackass. Did you hear Caesar's back on ice tomorrow? Yep, Rico told me. Guess we could expect to see more call girls and escorts. I've never worked with Caesar on nights before. He has a deal with every call girl in the city. Foreign businessman walks in, says he wants action. Caesar hooks him up with whatever he needs. Then he gets a little bonus money from both the call girl and the guest. Bastard's making more money here than both of us put together. Here's Scarlett Johansson's checking in tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned it. So what's her name? It's like Greta Wander King, something ridiculous. Don't they change the names to throw out the paparazzi as well? Yeah, oh, they change the names every five months or so. But she has reservations at a bunch of hotels. Hmm. Where's she staying? Oh, she's staying here. Chris knows her manager. He said we'd give her the star treatment. How much time we got left? 57 minutes. I'm watching everyone. I'm gonna go downstairs. I don't really feel like seeing Henry tonight. If he needs me, tell him to call me. You can hold down the fort for a little while, right? Leave me in charge. Hell, all I gotta do is make sure the hotel is still here in the morning, right? You listen. That's fine, that's fine, let's do that. Uh, but, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. All right, all right, look, I gotta go, okay? Hey, bro, what's, what's up, doing, man? man? Everything good? Yeah, Phil, you know, just working, man. Yeah, I heard, you're at the Grand now, man. That's great, good for you. I'm the overnight manager now. What? Good for you. That's awesome. I can't handle the hours, though, you know? Oh, uh, don't whine to me about the hours. You think all I do is jerk off all day? I wish I had time to do that. All I do is work. Well, you got a lot more energy than I do, Phil. <laughs> Did you talk to mom lately? Come on, bro. I thought we were just going to have a nice dinner. Jeez, I'm just wondering. Phil. 
Yeah. Yeah, I talked to her. What's she been up to? Same stuff. Maybe I should call her, you know? Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, why not? Don't give me that shit. You know why. Because my girlfriend hung herself in my apartment? Jesus fucking Christ, Dill, what the hell's wrong with you? I'm just asking if that's why she doesn't want to talk to me. You really want to go there, huh? Go there. Maybe it's because she thinks you still got problems. And not talking to me is the solution? You want to put the cards on the table, huh? Are you still on the stuff? No. No, man, you know, yeah, you know. That's great. If that's true, that's great. Well, I job. still got problems, though, Phil, you know, it's dealing with the pain. And... Are you clean or not? Every once in a while, I still got problems. And... Come on, man, get your life together. I, I gotta take this, alright? Give me two minutes. Yeah. What do you have to give me? Holly? Tino said you had something for me. Yeah, I do, but it's inside and I'm late for work. What do you have? Look, can we just meet up tomorrow sometime? Unless you're telling me that your fucking hotel found my money, I don't know what you have to give me that's worth a damn. Look, do you have a place to stay? What are you doing? You want me to stay at your place? Is that what you want? You want to bang me? Look, uh, let me at least give you some cab fare, all right? Why are you helping me now? You should have helped me the other night. What you got? Negative five. Stomachable. Heard you walked a guy the other day. Some business jerk off who can give a shit that he was getting a free room because his company was paying for it. So let's charge him. Good idea. Hey Marco, are you watching the front desk? No sir, I am off early tonight. Ciao boss. What's the deal, Caesar? Hey, Dill. Long time. We need to get this guy in that two-bedroom suite, and it ain't ready. We'll have a clean day set. Nope. It's occupied. Sir, could you excuse us for a moment while we figure this out? I hope this doesn't take too long, because we've been waiting for 30 minutes. We'll have you in there ASAP. Excuse us. What happened? Henry. He put somebody else in there this morning. That prick fuck. I'm assuming all the other two bedroom suites are occupied? Yep. Shit. <laughs> Some guy offered me $500 if I show him my dick earlier tonight. Did you do it? Nah. Why not? I got morals, bro. All the one bedroom suites are taken as well. We gotta do a water leak. Let's do it. All right, call Jeff from security, get Pablo up there as well, and move her stuff to 1221. It's the king down the hall. 1221, I'm on it. Dylan. You're late. <sighs> Someone it ain't busy. That douchebag Henry gave away a two bedroom suite, and now the guy who reserved it wants in. What are you gonna do? Caesar up there now with Pablo and Jeff. They're gonna move her stuff to a king down the hall. What are you gonna do when the lady gets back? We do a water leak. What's that? You'll see. Uh, put your food order in. Already did. How you feeling, Dale? Fine. Why? You've just been off the past couple of days. 
I'm tired. I just can't get used to these hours. Okay. It's gonna be fun to have a Caesar on tonight, huh? Can't wait to see what shit he's gonna pull. Yeah, you know, he better take it easy, okay? This whole place has been on edge ever since that thing went down with Holly. That was her name? Yeah. Hmm. How did you know that? She told us, don't you remember? I can help you over here. Please, could you help me up here, please? Yes. Hi, I need a cab at the Grand. Yes, thank you. Hey. Hey, hot stuff. How are things? Same as always. You? Eh, it's a little night. Again? Yeah, I think so. You got a family, Linda? I do. I have a little girl. Nine years old. Why do you think I'm doing this? Where's your father at? Well, he's out working, making lots of money, and not giving a shit. Sucks. Yeah, I know. But I am so glad that Caesar's back on nights because Rico don't do shit for my business. <laughs> Some guy asked Caesar to show him his dick tonight. For free? Oh, he said he'd give him $500. Caesar said no. Really? Well, maybe Caesar's got a little problem. <laughs> <laughs> my pants would have been down on the word dollars. <laughs> show me your dick and I'll give you a 500 bank. <laughs> Pay up. Have a good night, Dill. You take care, Linda. Ma'am? Are you the fucker who authorized somebody to go into my room and touch my personal things? Yes. I'm gonna fucking ruin you. You violated me. You violated my personal property. Okay, no one violated anything. It was all supervised by two staff members and a security guard, okay? Oh my God. My hands are fucking shaking here. They touched my clothes. They touched my toothbrush. They touched my underwear. My fucking underwear! Okay, ma'am, ma'am, you're gonna have to lower your voice. Oh, okay? fuck you, you asshole! Okay. My company is gonna sue this fucking joint! Wait, look, how long, how long are you staying here? Oh, oh, are you gonna give me a fucking free room? I don't give a shit. Because nothing you can do can save you from the fact that you raped my stuff. all your stuff destroyed? What? You probably had 10 to 15 minutes before everything was gone. What are you talking about? Why do you think we moved your stuff? What do you think this is all about? Because your operator said that you double booked my room. Well, she doesn't know what she's talking about. The computer doesn't even allow us to do that. We moved your stuff because a pipe burst and there was a water leak. So for what it's worth, we'd like to give you a complimentary room for tonight. I, I, I'd appreciate it. Go up to your room and enjoy your, your nice dry bed. Uh, I'll have a complimentary bottle of wine sent up to you. Thank you. That was fucking brilliant. God damn it, man. That, I almost lost it. I swear to God, I almost lost it. Yeah, but you got it together, man. Water leak? Shit. Patrick created it. Patrick's uh, running the royalty now, right? Yeah, yeah. Best manager in the history of this hotel. You know, people were saying that about you for a while there, Bill. They were saying it? Before the night shift? Before the night shift. God damn, that bitch got me all wound up. Standing here screaming in my face. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking knock Henry's teeth out tomorrow. You fuck him, okay? Don't let him get you like this. No, Why? no, no. He's a piece of shit, okay? His stupidity, uh, it causes this woman, you double books the room, and now she's screaming in my face, okay? <sighs> we moved her underwear. Like, anybody wants to touch her fucking underwear. God damn, now I'm fucking wound up. My hands are shaking. Jesus, you need to calm down. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just all wound up right now, okay? I need to get outside. Uh, you want some coffee, dude? Can I get you coffee? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some. I'm good, bro. 
Jumped. Fuck, bro. How? What time is it? It's 4 30. Uh, I'm gonna go lay down in the back for a bit. How bad do I look? I mean, you'll be alright. How big was the guy? Big. Unprovoked? He, he yelled something and I yelled back. Should've ignored him, man. Hey, dickhead, nice job on the double book. Oh. What are you blaming me for, asshole? Are you that much of an idiot? I had no choice. Plus, she fell for your water leak bullshit, so who the fuck cares? Chris is gonna have your ass. Oh, really? Who was she screaming at, me or you? I fucking hate you, Henry. Oh, well, right back at you, druggie. What did you just say? Oh, like we all don't fucking know. What? I, I smoke a little pot, so what? Oh, is that it? What else? Shoot fucking heroin much? Show me the needle marks then, prick. I did it once in my life. Don't you fucking bullshit me. You and your girlfriend got fucking high every day. That is why she hung herself. Ah! <laughs> Tell Chris if he wants to fire me, call me before 8 a.m. so I know if I can sleep in or not. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry about last night. I really don't know what I said. I've been there. Why don't you come inside? I'll give you that thing. Come on. Sorry the place is such a mess. Davis. You got it from him? Yeah. Bullshit. If there's one thing I know about that cocksucker, it's that he never let anyone shake him down. The money's yours. Oh yeah? Why? I 
How long you lived in the city, Holly? Three years. Where are you from originally? Red Bank, New Jersey. And how old are you? 21, detective. You got a family? Yeah. They know what you're doing? Now why don't you just go home? What happened to your head? Oh yeah, I just got in a fight. I had a good jump. Tino said that you and your girl was Yeah, dead. yeah. She died? Yeah, she died. And you still... I don't inject. I, uh... You know, just every once in a while for the pain. So, what do you want from me? I just felt bad about what happened. And you wanted to help me. Was I wrong? Maybe just a little hard to believe. I'll believe it. <laughs> so you went and saw Davis? Ended up smacking him upside the head. Thanks. Don't mention it. He's gonna come looking for me eventually. Yeah. Holly, you need to stay away from that guy. Okay? He said he may kill you next time. All this help you're giving me and you don't want anything in return. What could you possibly give me? No, no. I'm clean. I've been tested. It's it's not. No, it's not. I just can't do it. I'm not over her. And, uh, I, no. It's okay. No. You just look like her, and, uh, it looks like no, It's okay. I'm sorry. I, I mean, it, 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 it was a really great kiss. <sighs> Why don't you go home, Holly? I'm not talking about where you live here, I'm talking about your family. Why don't, maybe, wait, wait, why don't you, why don't you stop by the hotel tomorrow night? I'm not going back there. Yeah, I realized how stupid that sounded right after I said it. Shit, I don't even know if I have a job there anymore. What? I'm in a fight with a dickhead coworker. Look, then why don't you stay here? I've got my own place. Yeah, but that, you know, that prick Davis. Wait, here. Look, uh, could you write down your phone number? All right, uh, you know, just so I can call you and, and check up on you? Can I be keeping tabs on me? Well, I, I just, yeah, yeah, actually. You know, I just want to just check up on you every once in a while to make sure you're okay. If, if I call this number, you'll answer? Answer. Bye, Don.
Good. You start tomorrow. Okay. See you then. That my replacement? No. I fired Henry. He shouldn't have said what he said. Well, good, because I was going to knock him out every morning until you got rid of one of us. Sit down. What are you doing? Huh? You're not just adjusting to the night shift. What are you on? Yeah, I've mean, just been drinking a lot. That's all? Yeah, that's all. I heard you use the water leak. Work like a charm. I tried it once. Guy didn't believe me. Had to comp his room for three nights. And Patrick created it. Forget Patrick, dude. You're better than he was. Sure, he was a charmer, but to some people, he, he came off like a used car salesman. People believe you, Dylan. No one, and I mean, I mean no one, could have handled that domestic abuse incident like you did. It just, it just sucks, though, because I have to fire you because you're lying about what you're on. Oh, you don't have to fire me. Tell me what you're on. This one time a few years back, uh, Rachel and I were visiting our friend Eliza in Los Angeles. She lived in the hills. And there was this big Fourth of July party and somebody brought fireworks. And Rachel lit them off. She was always doing crazy shit like that. And these two neighbors came by, these guys that thought they were all tough, and they told us that we had violated the uh, city codes. What the hell do we know about the city codes in Los Angeles? We're from New York City, you know? Um, we told Eliza we'd stop, and we meant it. But these guys wouldn't let it go. They demanded to know who did it. They wouldn't leave until they found out who did it. And they ended up getting in a fight with one of the guys, and. And the cops came, and the party was ruined. What's the point? The point is, uh, if these guys had just taken our word for it and believed us, uh, everything would have been fine. The party could have gone on. I like you, Chris. I mean, you worked your way up from Bellman to front office manager. And I respect you. But if I gotta tell you what I was on, uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna quit. God, it's Thursday, I can just uh, start my weekend early. But if you can just believe me when I tell you I'm not going to do it again, and I mean it. Well, then the party can continue. Welcome to the Century Graham. You're Dylan, right? Yes. I'm Dave. This is my wife, Gloria. We were here two years ago on our honeymoon. You're the same guy that checked us in. That's great. We had the most fantastic time staying at the Grand. Well, hopefully you'll have an even better time this time. How have you been? Good. I'm the uh, night manager now. That's fantastic. I think we have a king room booked. Hell, I don't know. Maybe I can give you 100 reasons why you might want to move us to a suite. Those are great reasons. Oh man, I remember these golden keys. Enjoy your stay, folks. Enjoy your honeymoon anniversary. I'll have a complimentary bottle of wine sent up to your room. Give you a tip? $100. Smartest tip in the world, hotel manager. 
Those two bedroom suites are five fifty a night. Thank God no more Henry to piss on my parade. The old Dill. Nice to see you back, man. Where's Linda? Huh? Linda. I haven't seen her. Me neither. Hey guys. Caesar, come here. Yeah, what's up, boss? Have you seen Linda? You didn't hear? Didn't hear what? She got killed. Oh. Her ex-husband found out that she was turning tricks in order to feed her kid. She came home from working. He was there waiting with a shotgun. It was in the times. That sucks. Those exes. I'll get you every time. Sir, can you get these back soon? Holly? I did. Got that settled? Yeah, man. Listen, do you know her address? Why? I need to find her, man. What's it to you? I ain't heard from her in like a week. Do you have her address? You owe me this. Three fifty three West Thirty Fourth Street. I don't remember her apartment though. Shit out of that wasn't me. I swear to God, that wasn't me. No, no, wait, please, come on. I think something bad might have happened to her. You mean something bad? Get the fuck out of here. I'm calling the police. What do you mean? 
Take a walk round the block to ease it up. Clear my head and tie myself out. I'll test myself constantly just to see where I end up. So afraid of messing up Don't you believe That it's better To be free of the things That make you ill Oh, those pills, they make you ill It's kind of ironic Given that they should make you well But at the same time eat away at you The doctor gave me the wrong damn thing I've looked it up Seems I know myself better than you know anyone Don't you believe that it's better to be free of the things that make you ill? back to New Jersey. It's good. You know, I'm happy for you. Thanks for that night. You were worried about me. Yeah, I was. You called me Rachel. I'm sorry. I, I didn't even realize. No.
It's not your fault what happened to your father. We make our own choices in this world. I know. Look. If you ever, if you ever need anything, if you, if you, you know, I'll rent a car. I'll come to New Jersey. Why would I need you? Why don't you just let me be a guy for a minute. What are you gonna do in Jersey? I don't know. Look, I know you have to go, and it's—I think it's great, you know. But, but I don't. Uh... What? I don't want you to go without knowing. Uh... Tinted eyes falling down to the sea at high tide Bringing me back to the place I can feel Love should bring me back home Coffee cup belly up to the bar Stay at the feet. 